All right, well, with such a historical matchup, Evil Geniuses versus Team Secret. Lesh is a very versatile hero, and on second pick, it's really nice to have these heroes that you know can play multiple roles. As soon as they pull it back out. That, that is nice. That's an empty ball, and so he needs this top rune. Oh, sleep comes out. They have the split earth afterwards. In fact, mid one might just be going down here. They try and find the kill, and in fact, can they get it? The avalanche barely able to save it. The uh -oh. clock back under tower. They try and turn the fight, but there's already creeps there. And now pulling back in that spirit tower. Crit oh! able to get it. Oh. Yeah, Samael's TP was on cooldown, so he couldn't stay bottom and try oh, and get a trade. Toss back, bar under tower. They have everything for him. Control coming out, and he gets the stampede off. Able to run away, finds the hoof stop afterwards, trying to take down two. X4 lands! The Echo Slam doesn't do anything, and Arteezy jumps in, finds the catch for the kill. Oh man, secret beta boo boo, as mid one also gonna get ran down here. Can they find the stun and the kill? They will. Crit, no, that shackle is what saved that team play for sure. Yeah, and they're just gonna back out. How many courses we had? Just three, so they've uh, adopted another one. They could go on Denisha here. Avalanche, mid one, trying to find it. They don't go for the split earth as of yet. They find it afterwards. Mid one, very low. The stomp coming from S4 finds it onto them. The sleep afterwards. Nisha's in trouble. He's going down. And the Fisher's actually blocking them off from getting in closer. This is Nisha possibly going down. Hand of God, mechanism, everything to save my Rave King, but it is not enough. And now Secret getting ran at continuously by evil geniuses trying to take down Psy. And they are possibly going to get it for him. Yes. Fly, get oh, away. Oh, that Corsair. They oh, no. Got does it. <laughs> they hit to find him at the very end. Sai oh, gets the, one more hit. The golems. Oh, they did it to him. Yeah. Now movement oh, into the jungle. Yapsor gets the blink away up to the high ground. Power shot lands the stun. And they find Yapsor getting greedy up on top of the cliff. He really did. Ichi is like, we know that spot very well. You can't hide there from us. <laughs> and uh, they will find that pickoff. Maybe it was a taunt, you know? <laughs> Possibly. Mid one in the bottom lane, they find him as well. And Grit chasing him down, has the shackle is, is shot afterwards. Really? He's now Dude, zero, he's every six, yeah, and two. two. So the TP is always going to appreciate all that move speed in the engagements. Uh, move speed from the smoke now oh. for Secret. Oh, they jump forward. They find him trying to get a turnaround here. Fly, able to get it. The splitter down. They have the shackle onto one. There's not a lot of damage coming out from Zai. But now he turns to try and find the fight for the hook stomp. On to three. S4 makes it happen again. They haven't been able to play Dota. But Yaptor coming in with the Echo Slam. It's not doing enough damage, though. Maybe the follow-up coming from Nisha with the Blade Mail is, though. As Sumail tries to run away. Yule Scepter, oh. leave him alive. Is it going to be enough? He's still walking away. Crit controlling. Nobody has died except for that. Earthshaker, but S4 again finds the big stomp, the power shot afterwards. They need to run away. Zai's doing too much damage. The avalanche toss and the kill comes through. They're super OP. You know, you get the ooh, ooh, stomp coming through. Arteezy following it up, already initiating. Can they get enough damage out, though? It's looking like it's going to be there. Zai also getting turned upon. They buy back on the tiny, though. Can they get any more kills? Secret trying to find something afterwards. The Fissure timing from Yapsers. The BKB wears off. Avalanche controlling up the Sven. He's able to get a good shackle, but it's not enough, as they will kill off the carry another time. And now you're in a position where you have to give up Roche as evil geniuses. They're going to try and slow it down with the Elder Titan Spirit. They have the stomps to land on top of it. Oh, but his spirit's going back. They have an idea where he's at. Time to run away. And you also built up Sumail. Actually going to find Yapsor and maybe going to bring him down. Hand of God has have to be used. The power shot comes through to finish him off. And now mid one able to control on to fly. I mean, Roche isn't going down quite that slowly. Can they really get there in time to contest without a buyback from Arteezy? It's getting super low. Fly trying to make it happen, but it's not going to be enough. I mean, oh, they're, they're waiting. <laughs> they, they that was a, a moment. And now looking for the follow up. Another stomp, another catch, the shackle! Able to interrupt at mid one though, being that stalwart force in the middle of all of them to make sure they can't initiate onto the rest of his team does mean that mid one is likely gonna die again, but he's able to keep the rest of them alive to male. Still living through this one, Arteezy back in the midst of it, turns on to Zai, wants to kill him off instead, turns on to Nisha, oh, geez, barely able to keep Sumail alive. There's no man on Zai! He gets one last hit for the shot, that's enough for the kill, and now Arteezy trying to stand tall against absolutely everybody, needs to run away, the Earth Splitter comes through, Still dodging, Crit even trying to slow them down with the Rin Run slow, but he will too eventually fall. And EG managed to get a couple of buybacks out. Yeah, they're heading off across he the map. Find, needs to find some more though. I like that. Zai, walking uphill. They have a shackle shot lands. 
Nisha just gonna walk forward. They find the hoof stomp oh, on the yeah. back line. Got but the tiny guys. Fisher, mid one, not gonna go down from that one. The split earth coming through as well as it lands right, onto good, good. Earthshaker. This is a nice one. Oh, the Yapster tries to drop the Echo Slam. It's not quite enough. Sumail needs the Yules to stay alive as he walks through the trees and to tiptoe his way away. And Arteezy also having to escape. This Enchantress just does so much freaking damage. The Shackle BKB reaction from Nisha before it landed. Still trying to run away. Arteezy able to get it. Another round of hoof stomps coming through onto two, but there's no follow-up. It's this just, is just delay. Escape. That That's all it is, right? Every single one of these stuns, I feel like, is just trying to get them out. It's going to take, again, just time and time for them to do it. Maybe they can. It, it certainly helps that mid one's been a virtual non-factor, but a damage sponge. And this is a nice little pickup for them as well, taking down mid one. Can Secret get there in time? Not quite. Now they're kind of committed to this fight as well. Another great fissure coming from Yapsor, just to play spoiler to that kill potential. A puppy. Uh, okay, they want the bigger kill. They want to find Zai. BKB popped the turn, find a find of that kill, and Zai is going to eat the dirt. And Yapsor also, he stuck around a little bit too long. One by one, Secret going down. None of these heroes have buyback. What's uh, going on? A stampede from time to time with that big stun that comes out, yeah. um, but really not lacking that damage. That's where Crit is coming into play. And well, oh. speaking of Crit, he's going to get pulled back in. He's Doesn't level 20, though. Talent. And the chase forward, the Bloodthorn. Look at the damage coming out. S4 finds the stomp there again. On to two. Arteezy trying to take down one. It's going to be Zai. And now afterwards, turning towards mid one. The Avalanche trying to delay things, but it might. Oh, Yapsor! Where's the follow up though? Nietzsche is there. Do they have enough damage? It's not looking like it's quite going to be there as EG continue to run through them. And Sumail just backing away from Nisha. His BKB they, they wearing off soon. And actually, Crit lives through this one as well. Avalanche isn't going to be enough. They actually reveal himself. And Crit goes down. Puppy also going to hit the deck. Another round of another bunch of kills. Anisha just trying desperately to hold on here. Chasing down and finding Arteezy. They blow him up. Able to get the kill on his Sven. Mid one with this buyback might be making enough space for the rest of his team. Yeah, good buybacks there. And they know the Roche is up. We have to come back and fight for this one. And S4 chasing, chasing. Sumail shows up for another round. And now catching on to mid one. This fight's going on for forever, it feels like. Another avalanche, but Crit doing the damage for his team with the split earth afterwards. They take down the tiny. But EG, they have made it past. I was worried about the potential high ground there from Secret, but they held fast to those big pickoffs at the 30 minute mark. And now. Trying Secret to trying to down. delay. Wraith King jumps into the middle of him. The Aegis is going to get picked up, though. And now Nisha, he's committed. He does have ulti available, but does he end up having to pop it now? Crit trying to run away. Zai caught off to the side. They don't oh, have to pop. Untouchable doing so much work here. They and Sumail, to. can they get it in time? Still chasing. Sumail going to be able to find Puppy, but can he get any more afterwards? Nisha turning on Sumail. He eats the cheese and able to back away now. Crit still living through this. They're kiting it all beautifully. EG trying to run, trying to side. The Echo Saber slow in the rundown. Nisha going to call. And they find themselves another round of another couple kills. Blade Mail be damned. EG, you're coming. Last man standing. Falls. How much do they want to test? At one, at some point, if you don't make that timing right, the one guy's not going to be enough, and you just they just drop like a, an absolute rock on the Enchantress and the tiny, and uh, that big boulder was nothing but a pebble this game. Or it's easy playing the uh, the buddy system here, keeping crit nearby for Sumail just in case he needs a save. He still doesn't have a BKB. Likely uh, not going to see one this game. He's S4. very close to the Octarine. He jumps in, finds the Absor. He's already used one round of it. The stun comes out. The silence is there. Oh, he's in? easy. Not caring about anything. High he ground. couldn't even no hit carrots. the buttons fast enough. He's like, I hit the mech, dude. I, I couldn't hit the hand of God for you. I'm sorry. Chase forward now. Arteezy, he's feeling it, ready to go up on the high ground. It's a lot of damage out with that break. The avalanche toss. Arteezy pops the BKB, now trying to chase. This guy's mad, wants to turn him down, see if it's going to happen. And indeed, he finds one kill. Now looking for the second, killing off his old captain, and now looking to take a bit more as the tier three tower goes down and everybody retreats. Trying to get themselves a little bit more wiggle room here, and perhaps just one more item on some of these heroes, another level, anything that will help in this engagement, because they're certainly going to need it all. Nisha and Sumail tangling it out down here. And Nisha. Yeah, he's got the TP, but he's going to be careful. Uh, going down the TP. There, there's a talent it there, breaks. my friends. Ladies and gentlemen, Nisha getting caught out, killed, and that man just bought out. He doesn't have buyback. The huge pickoff from Sumail. And now EG moving up onto high ground. This hold feeling like an impossibility. They need everything from Yapsor as well as Zai. Looking for that opening. Fissure going to be thrown out. They also have the tree toss coming from mid one. They're going to run out of trees, though, before they can burn through these EG hero pools.
Sumail still holding on for the moment. They use the glyph. Remember, when, when Nish is dead, it's a 60k net worth lead. That's just, true. Just, he is a All monster. Right. That guy's got a lot of it tied up in himself. And they do a buyback on Zai, but mid one jumping in. Yapsor able to find the Echo Slam. It's not enough damage. Arteezy able to get the BKB off. Takes down Yapsor. No buyback from him either. EG smelling blood. Going for the chase. Sumail still trying to run away. The stomp is going to connect onto one, but their eyes on the prize. Evil Genius is going to take down these tier four towers. And Secret, they can't believe it, as they are not willing to give up. But this game is well and truly over. Evil Geniuses are going to go up one game to zero over Secret. And a disconnect coming out. Secret really struggling. Uh, you'd, I'd love to see a Nisha Morphling. I don't oh, know Nisha. about a BSJ oh. Morphling. <laughs> oh, Void, OK. Another Void. Our big team fight all. Hubby's even getting ran at right now with that gush early on, the telekinesis, and looking for a first blood here. One more punch. Oh, and crit going to pick it up. Still, Sven sitting top. The CS afterwards after clearing through those Eidolons and the rotation moving in. Fly trying to make sure that Yapsor it's not going to be able to be effective with the rotation. Instead, it's mid one that might end up going down. Diabol Heat's out, doing a good bit of damage. Is it going to be quite enough, though? EMP Dream, all the Invoker mana. One Check second. Four needs it again. It's going to be enough to save him. All Invoker at the last second fly, trying to make it work. Needs another Shadow Poison out. And mid one with that quads is regening through it all. Secret salvage. All right, Absolute I'm just saying. disaster. I'm just saying XP streak. I still sitting close to his level six, but not quite there as of yet. And the lift up on the mid one. They want to try and take this guy down. Disruption, building yeah, up the Shadow Poison. Timing. Ravage combination beautifully played by S4 right as the Disruption ends. But Yapsor is there, three stacks. He's going to need at least another one. And it doesn't look like they're going to get it. Another Chronosphere lands down onto two of them. Can they turn this one around on the fly as well? Sumail trying to make something happen. Nisha very, very low, and he will go down. S4 manages to find that kill. And that's a straight grade back. No medallions or solar crests or anything, just straight for the blink, all about the Ravage. Puppy is there. They have an idea that he's in the area, but they don't have the Sven with them. Smoke breaks now onto Puppy, getting some vision, I mean, chasing this is forward. Disappointing they have the Purge. Puppy. Still looking for Yapsor. S4 wanting that plus one, and they're actually oh. grouped up together. Zai, he's got to be so careful. If S4 knows, he jumps forward. Ravage going to connect onto three of them. The follow-up coming through. There's no black hole in this fight. Can they get mid one afterwards? You will scepter to interrupt Puppy, going to try and play interference, but oh. big win for EG. Yeah, and, and from an area of the map that doesn't necessarily get that much play, but it feels like EG have they forced it, right, by the way they're controlling the lanes. Looking for the catch. Nisha going to pop the BKB and just turn to fight. Puppy going to pop the ultimate as well. Is it enough to kill off Sumail? I think the answer is yes. And now looking for fly Nisha, able to make the move for his team. As they did not anticipate that BKB. Want to force a fight where we're at the advantage. Mid one chasing. Oh, mid one has a feeling. Crit is going to be the one that's caught. And Arteezy needs to get the heck out of here. If he is not careful, might get killed off afterwards. Tornado going to find oh, the lift They're in trouble. Trying to get the time off. Wait, Crit's actually living through it. They follow up the follow up stun, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> Does a little dance for his death. He's going to smoke up. He's looking for that initiation for the team. So we Ravage. got Stormhammer, we got Ravage, we got Fly Smoke getting caught by mid one with the now dust. They now they know Yapsor trying to play interference, but the Ravage comes again from S4. They take him down. Secret are bringing. Well, Secret trying to find an opening here. It feels like they, they know exactly have what's an idea. happening. They saw Zai rotating through. Got to be careful. They're baiting one. They realize that crits in the area too, as well as fly jumps forward and Arteezy able to get off to the other side. They only find one in the Chronosphere. That's not good enough, ladies and gents. And now Nisha trying to control it, find that one kill. They have an Echo Slam afterwards if they want to use it. Zai also looking for that opening with the black hole. He has the blink. Can they find the opening? It's not going to be there. Delta split. Get the heck out of Dodge. Sumail still living through this one. They've only lost the Shadow Demon so far. And Nisha just trying to run away in secret. Have to escape. They got to get the heck out of here. Fisher connecting. Again, on to two. Can they turn this one? Yapsor falls. And meanwhile, off to the side, S4 just runs away. We all go through pain for the victory. He's itching right now. <laughs> uh, the camp's just right up there. But they're really itching something for good. Jump in as they catch out. Sai yet again. Another round. Evil geniuses keep on finding these picks-offs. And it's the vision.
over and over again. Those wards placed down, spotting the opening. And now EG walking high ground. They've still got Chrono. The Golden Glove was worth the way there. S4 has been incredible on this side. They're so aggressive. Mm. Two and a half minutes before it's going to respond. Mm. Scouting Sunstrike there from mid one just to ensure that nothing. Oh, they're all happening. grouped together. The jump for it. S4! He finds them all again. They can't come with the follow up coming though. Nisha's already there. He's trying to take down one. He wants to kill off Grit so they can get a black hole afterwards. The turnaround coming from Zai. Can they kill them all off in the range of it? Puppy chasing Bartizi. He pops the BKB, runs to fight, catches out Nisha. Can they kill him off in time? Yeah, the answer with the Anvil Slam. The second turnaround. Give him the Okie Doke. And Secret still seen if they can find Sumail, but they're not going to be able to. 33 minutes in, and again, S4 doesn't have the Ravage this time. Nisha up on the low ground, starts to find him, gets the lift up though for the they turnaround. Sunstrike, it's not there. He has Chronosphere, but he just didn't use it. And now Chase Ford finds the second round of it. They group apart Nisha, only able to find one, but it might be a good enough one at that. But the disruption coming from Fly, saving his buddy life, need to get the heck out of there. Sumail gets the Yule Scepter lift up, still lives through it, and now Puppy is the one who's going to get caught. And that Chronosphere was not good enough. Crazy Ravage is now steal. back up. Chasing forward, RTZ finds one, the Ravage again to interrupt, and now the follow-up, they've got Nisha to go for the Maleficent. They can't kill him off in time before he's able to get the jump away. EG find three. Looking for an opening here. They're also bringing in RTZ. Dude, this, Nisha these, shows these up. These wards down here oh, God. have just been insane. That other ward, Nisha, he needs to be so careful. He jumps away, though, realizing what's going on. The they get the lift up. They jump in. They find the stun and they get him. Oh, my God. They get him again. He did manage to get buyback gold right yeah, before that. But the, the greed, man, not oh. the TPing. I mean, you can't blame him, right? That was just a field TP. But that but means that they know that Sumail as well as RTZ are not here, and they're going to find at least one turnaround kill. S4 moving in, looking for Yapsor, but Sumail botched into this fight. They've caught Puppy with the splitter if they find another kill. Yeah, but now we do have a BKB on uh, Sumail to help replace that Aegis. Oh, crit. They realize he's there. Jumped on off. The spore is in the median on top of him. Look at the damage coming that out. That was a mid -hero. Oh, my God. They didn't stand a chance, and crit looking to try and chase him down. They don't have buyback on the Invoker with the Kronos here. Do they have any follow-up? They need the Black Hole afterwards, and Zai able to get it onto both of them. The huge combination coming out with the Echo Slam. One more. Secret. They're doing it. Is it going to be enough, though? They're trying to take him down in time. Four step off to the other side, and s four gets the cheese off. Trying to run back now. They still don't have mid one, but they forced all these buybacks. They're protecting. And so much damage oh, coming man. out from Sumail. It's a bold play, right? But they've read the situation. They know they only lose to the Chrono in the black hole. Yep, so just the double pop. Just has to ensure he gets it. And Sprit being the one to open up. RTZ gonna get stunned. Nisha he throws out another Chrono Spear. But S4 there with the Ravage. They turn this one back around. They have the Chrono Spear, but can they get it? Oh my god, the Cataclysm! And the second refresher. Is it gonna be enough though? S4, he's in trouble. He's all alone trying to run away. And is he gonna be able to escape with the BKB wearing off? The answer is looking like maybe, possibly. The Chrono Spear oh. was stolen from Crit to turn it back around. And now the jump board. They want to take down Crit, able to save his offlaner at the last second. Got it, no Ravage. Nisha jumps forward, he finds him, blink away, stolen time walk, tries to jump, tries to find, Whoa. break the catch! Is it gonna be the kill? They're gonna be able to get the black hole turnaround, but where's the damage? They don't have enough heal through, coming through, EG, trying to get him, and the break kills on to Zai. Now finding more, the Hex is out as well. Who's that puppy going down? Almost killed, one more right click, finishes him off. Oh, the defensive black hole is not usually the one that you want. The yeah, Agnes picked up first and mail too. Right, Nisha thinking about jumping. He has no vision right now. No vision at all. But they're down on the low ground. Does he spot them out? Not quite. They're behind some trees. And oh, he spots them. He gets Nisha. Soul Catcher already out. Looking for the follow-up. Is it going to be? Oh, yeah. He doesn't need anything at all. The break. He's in trouble. The slowdown. The second one. Nisha going to get caught. Nisha going to be killed. He has 100 seconds away. Now mid one trying to run out of their S4. He has a Ravage back up in a second as well. They have Just a move one. chart on Sven. There's one moment. Notice. Especially when S4 blinks into a creep wave. Jump forward, finds two. That's a good two to get, but the Aeon Disc already proc crit living through this one, trying to find the follow-up. It's gonna be there. They take down one. They are going to possibly... No, they can't get Sumail. He's walking away. They find the finish. The black hole dropped down on RTZ. It's not enough. They're trying to run away. Is it gonna be enough to break the catch the control? He time walks out of there, but now the turnaround. Ben one coming through with the... Woo! Over 
forward. He made it happen for him. No buybacks. That's it. Dear Lord, that was beautiful. They're out of there. And what does it again? It's a little observer worth there on the river. Oh. It's one thing to cast your spell, but in order to do it, you got to see the other guy. You could just go something like Tiny. They go PA themselves. Going for it, all right. Mag PA. Oh, nonetheless. But by the way, our, our crowd reacted. It sounded like it. Whoa. Uh-oh, S4. There they go again. Puppy gonna beat him down. That Orb of Venom. You can see this rotation coming from Puppy. Fly is nearby to help out, but he's gonna he's help himself, it looks like, as Zai spots him out. And that arrow is forward. way. Woo. And they get him, but. S4 actually rotating in. He still has the swarm on him and is going to turn now onto Zai, but Zai able to eat away the sentry ward that was down. Really heads up play there, but Zai walking back into a sentry oh, ward on the other one. side. And well, that one is not going to be able to make his escape, although Zai walks away from Roll. Oh, another. And look at all this damage that's building up. They kill a Martizi. They do bring down the Sand King, but lose their carry in turn. And Sumail now trying to make something happen. See if he can kill off Puppy. Another round of impetus. S4 trying to run away. He's taking a lot of damage. They do kill off the Ogre. Mid one shows up as well now. A flurry of action. Doesn't have the leash though. Need the arrow. The next. Well played. Yaps are making it happen, but able to get that remnant out. Now smoked up again here, getting very aggressive. Oh, that slight oh. hit a few more than he expected. Sumail. And he got out of there. Immediate reaction. That's the blink reveal. So EG dodging away from the gank, although Zai walks up to the high ground in a lot of trouble. RTC just finds him, can they get the kill in time? The arrow connects and the pearl strike comes through. Zai living, and well, on the other side, not looking like it's gonna happen, RTC. He needs to get a couple more quits here. Puppy very low, but they kill off the PA again, and mid one lives through it all. The shockwave pulls back, able to find that one kill, and S4 now throwing out those impetus shots, trying to find a finish for his team. A triple kill for Yapsor, though, and Nisha just running away. Needs a couple more long duration but that Ember Spirit now finishing off the BKB as well. A lot of it's dependent on Crit, who's now stunned up and arrowed. Oh, Ooh, disruption. Okay. Fly, saving his buddy for a moment. They He's still get stunned. out of there. He is done. Didn't get 30 seconds on Silent Bear. TZ blows up one. That's Zai. Already dead. Can they find any more? Mid one tries to hide away. They have decided to chase, and Yapsor going to die. Puppy off to the side, able to get himself out. Zai could end up being kind of free food here if they get the initial good start. If the fight starts to look bad for Seeker, which is still going to be very difficult to do when they have a 14k lead. True enough. Arrow still going through. for these bounties. Root there, onto the Ember. Puppy getting caught for the moment. Sai looking for the catch, and they actually hit that arrow onto Mag. Meanwhile, Sumail's going to kill off Puppy, still chasing for Zai's it for more. Again. Zai is dead. Time lapse back the other way. Rooted. He's going to be back, and he might just go down. The He's just going to fall. EG pull it back again, and they're looking for more. EG find three. Mid one's got to run. 25 talents now for that Weaver, and we still need that big RP for oh. Crit. Oh, Zai. Got to be careful. Remnant forward. Need to be careful. The there. arrow. The arrow hit him. But the save, it's coming out for Fly. He's got his buddy there. Now high ground waiting. Got still have this careful. Aegis. They don't have Slark. Feels reminiscent of a moment last game with Sumail on the Aegis, and they ended up losing it very quickly after Roche. If you want more this time. Oh, the Jump Abyssal! In, find the Abyssal Blade to start this one off. Can they get the kill? Zai, he's just dead, and no buyback again. That's 60 three deaths seconds. in a row. He doesn't have an answer. Jump away from Sumail, turn to fight, try and take the puppy. Can he bring him down in time? No, but Sumail is going to be the one that cleans up with the stun. They don't have the save. They lose the Ember. Can he run back into this fight, or do they just need to escape? S4 trying to deal what damage he possibly can. Arteezy has the Swarm on him. They buy back on the Ember Spirit. And Nisha taking a lot of damage. Mid one also under control, but they have the Shadow Dance to run away. Ember Spirit is showing up, though. He's running the long yeah. way down. They don't know how many and remnants he has. The he's, chase. He's actually running the whole way because he wants to save them, but he didn't pop his BKB. He got caught by the arrow. Excellent play there from Yapsor. But with those buybacks, yeah, he lost 1,600 gold on Sumail, but he's still here, and they're still going to claim your melee racks. Well, mid one jumps in, finds the leash. Can they get it in time? Burrow strike through onto Arteezy. RP thinking about it, but they hold on to it for the moment. Mid one down to very low HP. That's Zai again. again. With Zai. He's out of there. The puppy also in Crit. trouble, but they get the catch with the RP. But where's the follow up? Jump forward, find the kill on a puppy. Mid one also in trouble, trying to get out of there. But another round of the remnants as they chase down the fish man in the river. You're in my territory now. And the stun, but mid one doesn't want to go back in. 
EG feeling fine about this. They send Arteezy Good. forward in the blur. He's not afraid. He jumps forward. He gets the Abyssal Blade mid one, gets the BKB off, trying to run. Doesn't have his ulti for another 30 seconds, though. And Arteezy throws oh, a back. He He's able to hit it. Chase forward for more. They have the shot from downtown. Tries to find the kill. And Sumail looking for the finish. Another remnant. Damn near Arteezy. to the base. He and saved. Looking for more. There's going to be the catch on Anisha the Weaver, trying to run away. And they get the buyback from the Sark and now run out of there. Happy center for staff, trying to keep them all survivable. The I turnaround, Arteezy almost able to get brought down, but not quite there. Disruption save yet again. They're all super low on EG and they need to run, but Sumail looking to finish this one off possibly as they chase for it for more. They find another kill. Oh! Two minutes, they did it to him. EG, I no can't believe it. secret, and they're making it happen. The Satanic, it was on cooldown, and he still managed to find that last crit. Oh, they chase forward, and Evil Genius is now going to hit the tier oh, 3 towers. I, they turn forward onto the tier 4. They're running. Do you believe in miracles, ladies and gentlemen? EG did it. Oh, the panel, they better hurry, because that one ended in a flash. EG celebrating in the booth. Oh. Brings up a lot of questions. Still very solid performance in these games, but they're going to need to pull it together for their run now through the lower bracket.